host is Dr. Michael Lang. That's myself. I've been hosting Ask the Doctor since April of 1993 on multiple multiple radio networks throughout the country. Uh, all right. And now I'm live here on Salem Media. So you can give me a call at 877-943-9673. 877-943-9673. Who's Dr. Lang? Well, I'm a board-certified optometric physician. I'm a certified nutritional specialist. I founded Lang Eye Care and Associates March 15th of 1993, opened 13 locations throughout the great state of Florida, including the Lang Eye Institute, which is close to 40,000 square feet, state-of-the-art eye care center uh, in the Villages, Florida. And so that's why I hail from. I can be seen for an eye exam at the Lang Eye Institute, but I'm also a certified nutritional specialist, and I develop I'm involved in clinical research and development of nutraceuticals for the eye, for dry eye, for macular degeneration, for total well-being, for digestive health, for muscle health. Uh, so we also have a, a new Fortify sports nutrition line that we've worked on that we came out with recently called Fortify Fit. So anyway, we talk about anything from sports nutrition to anti-aging nutrition to the latest in cataract surgery, the latest in dry eye treatment, a natural approach to helping your eye issues uh, on this program. So if you've got a question, I'm going to give you the phone number. That's 877-943-9673. Uh, we're new, relatively new to uh, the Salem Media. So that's uh, 860, the answer and 9.30 in Sarasota, 8.60 in Tampa. All right. So once again, give me a call if you got any questions at all. I'm going to give you a website you can go to, learn a lot more about what I have to offer at drmichaellang.com, drmichaellang.com, or langeyecare.com. And the newest website, which is kind of fun, and actually, this new website I'm going to give you will actually go to all my other websites and companies that can link to everything, including my podcast channels, uh, this radio show, and everything. And that's simply drmichaellangracing.com, drmichaellangracing.com. Check that out um, and go to the uh, podcast channels because you can learn a lot more about past radio uh, shows. It has a title talking about the main gist of the show. Um, I will be racing at Sebring for the Winterfest. So Sebring's a hop, skip, and a jump from wherever you are in Florida, one of the top road courses in the world. And usually a lot of good European racers are there practicing. So Sebring, the Winterfest is January 15th to the 19th. Uh, come on over to our motor coach if you find me. Um, you can always email me at idude92 at icloud.com. That's idude92 at icloud.com. If you're coming to the races. All right. Remember, that's January 15th through the 19th at Sebring, the Winter Fest. And I will be in the uh, Orange Viper. All right. Uh, it's kind of a yellow orange Viper that's maxed out for road racing. All right. We're going to go to the phones. Uh, I think we have uh, Steve and Bradenton on hold first. Steve, good morning. Welcome to the program. Hello, Steve. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you now, absolutely. Oh, God, it's, uh, how are you doing today? I am hanging in there. It's a great day. Uh, what's that, uh, Mr. Rogers? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty awesome. You make yourself available to the fans when you're at the racetrack like that because you do have things to do and things to check and stuff, you know? Right, this is true. A lot of them come out and watch, which is a lot of fun, So, uh, but I always have time for them. I just saw an ad on TV for a uh, a Dodge and it's from the factory, 797 horsepower. Wow. <laughs> What's that? What kind of Dodge? That must be one of those uh, Challengers. Yeah, it's a Challenger, and they had the Wildcat. It was 707, but this one is up to a 797, and I forget what they called it. It's some kind of Challenger. Yeah. You know, you think back to the old days, like in the 60s when they had these fuel gassers and everything, they only went like, you know, nine seconds, and we thought that was really something. Now you can go in the, the dealer and just buy one off the floor and probably go around eight seconds with it, you know? Right. Those, those are the Hellcats. Uh, oh, that's a version of the Hellcat, because I can't think of the yeah, name. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I huh. can't think of the name of it either. It's a version of the Hellcat. You're exactly right. right. 
I was wondering, my question today, I have a friend of mine that had a cornea transplant. He couldn't tell me much about it. And could you tell us what the cornea does and did they put in an artificial lens or hey, how long does it take to do it and all that? So a corneal transplant is when you have some sort of disease entity affecting your cornea. You know, anything from keratoconus to uh, a fuchs endothelial dystrophy to a nasty corneal infection, which could have been virus, it could have been a bacteria, trauma. There's a whole host of things that cause the cornea to become cloudy. The cornea is the anterior portion of your eye that if you touched your eye, you would hit, all right? You would touch. It's where contact lens rests on it. It's supposed to be clear and avascular. That means no blood vessels. But after trauma or disease, then it gets very cloudy and has blood vessels that grow through it. Sometimes you have to have a corneal transplant. So we try everything in our power to decrease the chance of having a transplant. Basically, a transplant is you have your cornea cut off and a cadaver's cornea sewn in place, all right? So (laughs) the good news is it can give many people, you know, valuable, usable uh, vision. So it can be a godsend to many people. So like I said, nobody wants a corneal transplant unless it's absolutely necessary. But they've come a long way with anti-rejection drugs and surgical techniques to replace the cornea. But also now, Steve, there's many other procedures available that will eliminate the need to have corneal transplants. So something that was not too long ago, keratoconus, all right? Also, Fuchs endothelial cell dystrophy. Now, oftentimes these patients, we don't need to do corneal transplants anymore because we have new technology, some non-surgical and some surgical that uh, decreases the need to have a cadaver cornea put on your eye. So you have to go to the surgery center to do that? You don't do that in the office, do you? Right. That's something you'd have to do in the surgery center. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, surgery centers are as good as a hospital surgery center? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you're going to have something like that, uh, I think an a out, outpatient surgery center is fine. You know, if you're doing something uh, much more serious, you know, brain or heart, obviously you want to be near the hospital in case something happens. So you probably want to have a right. surgery done at the hospital. But most eye surgery is is done relatively quickly and it's outpatient. Mm-hmm. All right. I was just, uh, I wanted to tell you that I appreciate your information and being there every week and tell you how much I enjoyed talking to Doc Hall here a couple of weeks ago when I called uh, to order my vitamins over at the at your uh, vitamin center. Right. He is he is a character. He's somebody you need to have back on the show because he's, he's so funny and entertaining. And he'll tell you wrestling stories or whatever you want to hear you know oh that is he's got he's got a lot of stories that's for sure doc hall is a good man and for people that are listening doc hall is a phd in clinical nutrition he's an icon in the nutrition industry in the bodybuilding and the powerlifting industry uh he's known by everybody from arnold schwarzenegger to the menza brothers uh rest their souls but uh he is uh we're really lucky to have him on our team. He's the director of operations at the Lang Nutrition Center. And I got to tell everybody in the Ocala, Gainesville Village area, got to go down to the Lang Nutrition Center. He's done a great job. I mean, he put a new elevator in that's really beautiful, redid all the tile, redid the entrance, and totally redid everything we have inside there. So not only do we have only four to five vitamins, we've got all sorts of high-protein snacks and high-protein gluten-free bars and uh, the Wata water and lots of other stuff other than just Fortify. So it's a complete nutrition center. And to make it even better, you can have a free weigh-in, a free body mass index and fat evaluation. He will do it for free. I mean, many people would charge, you know, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars for this type of a nutritional consultation. We do it for free. You know, it's a service we offer to the people that come into our uh, nutrition center. And then we just hope you buy your supplements through us. But we do the whole evaluation for free. So thanks for bringing uh, Doc's name up. Yeah, he was he was there that day to do some consultations, so that's pretty nice too. Yep, yep, he is. He's a good man. I'm gonna he have can... him, I'm gonna have him as a guest soon. So Doc Hall and I are heading down to L.A., uh, Los Angeles after the Sebring race. Good Lord willing, I'll make it. Uh, we're going to be presenting uh, some of the latest information we have on sports nutrition at the L.A. Fit Expo, which is a huge expo. And we're having a custom-made booth set up just for our Fortify Fit and our whey protein and concentrate and whey protein isolates. So it's going to be all about sports nutrition, not about eyes, uh, coming up at the Fit Expo in Los Angeles. Uh, so Doc Hall and I and, and some of my other staff will be 
uh, going for that. Uh, and we'll let everybody know how that goes, certainly. But that's the end of January, which is right around the corner. Yeah, it doesn't take long to get here. All right, Steve. Well, you guys make a, you guys make a great tag team combination. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. I sure appreciate it. All right, Steve. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Steve's been a caller uh, for many years on 8.20 a.m. this morning. Uh, uh, that station was down, but uh, we had a good show uh, from 97.3 FM and uh, on social media. We're live all over the world right now on social media. And I see a lot of you guys and gals are uh, asking me questions uh, via the Internet. And it's hard for me to see because she's so far away. I'm not right up on it. So I'll usually answer those questions after the show. Uh, if you've got a question, give me a call. 877-943-9673. That's 877 877- Nine four three nine six seven three. We're broadcasting through the Salem uh, network here, eight sixty a.m. The answer uh, in Tampa, and then nine thirty uh, a.m. in Sarasota, plus a, a variety of other affiliates, FM stations, ninety three point seven FM, and, and a few others. Uh, so give me a call, no matter how simple or complicated your question is, as long as it's regarding your vision, eye care, or a nutritionally related topic. I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Check us out online at drmichaellang.com or my new website, drmichaellangracing.com, and that will actually take you to uh, my podcast channel. So this radio show or any of my radio shows, you can listen on our new podcast channel. You can go on Google and just type in Ask the Dr. Lang, and the podcast channel will come up, and uh, you can listen to those. Or you can go to uh, my YouTube channel, and that's Ocular Health channel. So type in Ocular Health. Uh, maybe Lang, and it will come up, and you can actually watch all these videos as well. All right, we're going to go to the next caller. I think uh, another Steve in Clearwater has been waiting patiently. Steve, good morning. Morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Um, Next year is the year 2020, and when nutritional supplements really started to become in vogue, it was back around 1970. Mm Mm-hmm. So we, we've, we're coming up on 50 years where you have a base wow. of people who have been on, you know, vitamin C or vitamin E for 50 years. And there are a few universities that are now going to look at, you know, most tests on vitamins, they look at, they, you take them and they look at you a week later or a month later or maybe up to a year later. We haven't had a lot of good studies of how do people perform after how did, what do the parameters show after 50 years on these? Mm-hmm. And I think it would be very interesting if, if to see some of this data coming in. I knew after 30 years, there's some people about 20 years ago that were taking vitamin E for 20 years. Mm-hmm. And it showed a remarkably low, I mean, one out of a, a, a 2% rate of heart disease compared to the normal It's incredible. That's when it was the HEW. Uh, Health Education Welfare Department right. did a study on that. Uh-huh. So we're at a good point now where we can start doing these very long-term studies is to see how a lifetime of supplements can help you. And I think it's going to really reveal uh, a lot of good things. It might reveal some bad things, too, like what happens when people are on too much zinc for 50 years? What what happens when people are – something else is not good for right. 50 years? Right. I- so it's, it's plus and minus, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, Large population, long-term studies right. are going to give us a lot of valuable information. Some of those, you know, the nurses study, the Framingham study, a lot of those have already, uh, you know, given us some valuable information out there. But most of it points to the right nutrients in the body does slow down disease and aging. And there's a lot of good studies out there. And you know what happens is the sad thing is anytime a negative thing in the study comes out, you know, something negative about fish oil or something negative about curcumin comes out, you know, the media jumps all over it and publishes it because it's, you know, negative news is good news and it sells newspapers. And, of course, Big Pharma uh, likes to push that as well because nobody, uh, Big Pharma doesn't want you to get off any of your medications. Trust me. Uh, so- well, that, that's true. And you can pick up a negative on anything. There was a guy who... For fun, they used to. He 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 did a. You know the PDR where it does a a, a whole list of technical things about every drug that PDR that right. the best reference. Right. He did an entry for water, just plain water, mm-hmm. not spring water. Not, and what he did, he he showed all the things that too much water can do to you. It can cause bloating. It can cause low sodium. It can cause. 
and it was just plain water. Right, right. He, well, his <laughs> point was, his point was anything, you know, Socrates said the dose makes the poison, and that's, that's, that's what happens. One more final thing. Remember last week I told you about, I, I, I gave you a little bit of an ego trip on, on let there be light? Right, right. Well, we measure light in terms of lumens, right? right. Not, not wattage. That's how much electricity is. Lumens, or we say illuminate, to light up. Guess what name comes from that? What first name? I don't know. Lucy. 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 And who is, and who is the patron saint of eye diseases? Lucy. The word means light. Light. Saint Lucy. Saint Lucy's right. Yeah, Lucy. Right. So that this is all converging together, and uh, we hope uh, we hope that uh, now you're uh, now you're in the big leagues. You're in Salem Network now. Yep, yep. We were uh, off the air on eight twenty this morning. I don't know if you tried to turn in on eight twenty, but they uh, for some reason weren't on the air. So. Uh, well, the Democrat, the Democrats are blaming the Russians on that. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Steve, next year is going to be a great year because it's it's the year of the eye doctor. When you think about it, right? 2020, yeah. 2020, yeah. the year of the eye doctor. So I'm going to have oh, to do that's some cool. So I'm going to have to do some wild and crazy things on the show. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that's a very good thing. We can probably put a lot. You know, people don't put as much emphasis on their eyes as they do their heart, or you know, heart problems, or. Th- and and I think maybe we could we could use that year as a promotion. That's a very good idea. Maybe I could host the radio show from the inside of the race car, just a practice session. <laughs> yeah, there you, there say, you go. Here we go, folks. We're hitting about 170 now, and I feel the beta endorphins releasing. I have no pain yeah. in my body, so it's working. <laughs> well, I, I walk down the street at four miles per hour, and I still get some days. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing, one thing more quickly, and I don't want to use too much time. Um, I, I still want to do those those radio clinical trials, but I have to have a, an escape clause, so to speak, for every one of them in case there's any adverse effects. So pardon me for being late on those, but we're going to have some fun next year doing those for the audience, okay? All right, Steve. I look forward to talking to you. Okay. Yep. God bless. You have a good Bye. one. And I do want to take this opportunity, although I will have next week this opportunity to say it again, but I want to wish everybody a happy and healthy holiday season. And I like to say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and of course, Happy Hanukkah and Happy Kwanzaa. And we'll cover all those bases with just Happy Holidays, okay? It should make everybody happy. All right, phone lines are open, one 943 9673 That's 877-943-9673. All of you on social media, you can call that toll-free number anywhere in the United States. Uh, one more time, one 943 9673 In a few minutes, we're going to talk more about the Lang Survival Diet. I have a, I have a diet for weight loss right now that you can Google, uh, the Lang Diet Plan. And the average person, if they follow the plan to the T, and that includes a little exercise, will lose six pounds a week. That's absolutely right, six pounds a week, Lang Diet Plan. But for those of you that just want to live a longer, happier, healthy life, we're going to I talk more about the Lang survival diet shortly. I do want to shout out to uh, my daughter who's playing volleyball over in uh, near Leesburg and Tavares uh, at Howie in the Hills right now at the Florida Winter Beach National Qualifier. Uh, it's today and tomorrow. Hickory Beach Point, that's free to the public. Hickory Beach Point, uh, I guess that's on the lake maybe. I don't know. But it's Florida Winter Beach National Qualifier. Uh, she's big. She's 13, big into beach volleyball and uh, her team, the no-name volleyball team, uh, they got third in nationals last year, and they're doing amazingly well this year. So I've got her on the Fortify program. She's on the Fortify Fit and the Fortify Grass-Fed Whey Protein Isolate. And at 13, she's uh, 5'10 and pretty powerful. All right, uh, let's go back to the phones. I think we got Tim in Fort Lauderdale. Tim, thanks for holding. Good morning. How are you? All right. Happy holidays. Thank you. What I'm can- calling because I've had a recent... Uh, Development in my eye. Hello? Yep. Um, can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I, I am, for the last year, been fighting pancreatic cancer. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, I haven't taken any chemo or anything like that because I'm at, a, at an early stage with an IP and that. Um, it's caused me a lot of problems with digestion and everything else, but. I recently went and did the cyber knife to try to eliminate the cyst. Uh-huh. And in the process of doing that, the five-day procedure, 
towards the last day that I had to do it, I developed a floater. Mm -hmm. And I've also developed a, I guess this is a halo, because I've never had a halo before, Mm -hmm. where I have a light that circles around my eye back and forth, uh, counterclockwise and clockwise. And I'm curious if this is related to the radiation therapy that I did. Well, uh, it's a possibility. I mean, radiation therapy can... Uh, affect the eye. Chemotherapy can affect the eye too, but radiation, uh, you can get a radiation retinopathy. You can have a weakened retina because of that. However, uh, these things can be treated and it very, it may be just an, a coincidence, all right? Quite frankly, it's possibly just a coincidence. It has nothing to, to do with the radiation. But anytime you have a new onset of something floating around in your vision or any type of uh, flash of light or halo that's new, it's a good idea to get in, see your local optometrist, or ophthalmologist, it doesn't matter which one, have your eyes dilated. They have to be dilated. If they say, oh, we got some technology that enables us to look at your retina without dilating and say, oh, well, do that technology, but I still want to be dilated, okay? Because you can't see the entire retina. And the reason for this is that's a possibility. It's not probable, but it's a possibility that it's a torn retina, a retinal hole or a retinal detachment that's causing this. And the key with that is early detection. Because in the hands of a competent retina specialist, they can treat it oftentimes in the office uh, with pneumatic treatments with uh, a gas or with a laser or cryotherapy. If it's bad and you wait too long, then it might have to need surgical intervention where you have to go into a surgery center. So chances are you have what we call a posterior vitreal detachment of PVD. That means just a benign floater that happens to us as we mature, right? The gel in the eye starts to thin out. And it pulls on the lining in the retina that holds the gel in, in to the retina, the back of your eye. When it pulls loose, you get a little flash of light. Then you get a floater. It looks like a cobweb or a mosquito leg or a gnat or a piece of dust. And that floater is just the glued tissue, kind of like glial tissue that held uh, it down to your retina. And this is totally benign, usually nothing to worry about. But once again, uh, like I said, Tim, if you don't check, if you don't have your eyes dilated, We don't know if it's not a retinal tear or retinal detachment. Today's Saturday. There's plenty of doctors down in Fort Lauderdale that are open on Saturdays. You could go in as a walk-in and have your eyes dilated. I mean, that's what I would recommend, erring on the side of caution instead of waiting until it's a potential problem. I mean, I'm probably 99% sure it's not anything retinal because you're not getting lots of flashing lights, right? No, they're pretty regular. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I, 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 I've got I've got a halo going around pretty much most of the time. And do you have when any... I talk to the uh, what's that, when I talked to the radiologist when I was finishing up the procedures, mm-hmm. I asked him if it was related to the cyber knife radiation therapy, which is pretty direct. It doesn't really affect a lot of the rest of the body. Right. It's pretty much directed right towards that cyst because of the marker they put in there. However, he was telling me if he didn't think it was associated. But he did mention that he had problems with floaters in his life before, Mm -hmm. through his own research, that floaters were associated with fatty livers. I found that to be a very strange connection. (laughs) But it's amazing how the body's connected in many different parts to different other parts. Right. right? And I know that I've had a fatty liver uh, um, uh, diagnosis along with all the cat skin and stuff I've done for this pancreatic issue. Fortunately for me, I've lost a lot of weight, but not the way I wanted to lose the weight. Good, good. Uh, I, I am a person who wakes out, works out all the time, but I had to stop for a while because of what I'm going through, and I'm waiting for everything to clear up before I go back to the gym. I'm an extra cross player. I've done a lot of workouts mm-hmm. in my life, believe me. Well, but, uh, having, that's where I got to. Yeah, having a fatty lever can increase your risk of a lot of things. I mean, it can ca- cause you know a compromised immune system, which could ultimately – in a nutshell, maybe help the vitreous thin out and pull loose and cause floaters. I mean, I, I, there's no double-blind placebo-controlled study that's going to prove that. And so basically, mm-hmm. we just got to figure out what this is. I would recommend getting into a local eye doctor sooner than later, have your eyes dilated, and they'll find out it's probably nothing. And that's good. Then you can relax and go, whew, we don't have to worry about it. Because you don't want to have a full-blown retinal detachment because, I mean, you can go blind from that. Once again, down in Fort Lauderdale, you have Baskin Palmer, a world-renowned eye hospital in in Miami, as well as in uh, West Palm. So you got great eye care down there. So I would have it checked. And then once you, once this is all done, since you're athletic, consider taking our Fortify Fit. All right, 
That is a pre-workout, post-workout supplement I developed that is amazing. It'll help you get back on track, uh, get back in shape very quickly and safely. I'll be honest with you, I've already purchased that product from you. Ah, all right. All right, my, my wife is quite involved with working with you guys. Oh, fantastic. She's been on your show before. Um, and she, she's been buying it. And I've tried it, and, and I feel benefits from it. Really do. I think I like it pretty well. Good, good. Um, I, that, that, that's good information. But don't overdo it while you're still being treated. No, I, I, but I, I'm doing a lot of holistic stuff, which is really helping. That's why I've kept away from the chemo and all this radiation. But with an IP, I am. Good. Uh, and then you've got to get it out. You have much choice. And yep. the ripple surgery is not something I'm interested in. Um, so I really appreciate talking to you. I appreciate the information. All right. You hang in there and uh, right. keep, keep us and posted. I also, I, also have, I also have the Mega, mega uh, Max uh, uh, oil that you guys right, have. Right. The, the Mega Wolf. So. Good, good. I've been following you guys. I appreciate your information. All, All right. right. Tim. Have a happy holiday. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. So it's great to have some positive input. Uh, his wife uh, sounds like she's uh, been in tune with the program as, as well and now getting him. You know, like I always preach God made a pretty good body if we give it the right fuel. And that's why I'm developing this diet called the Lang Survival Diet. Because quite frankly, all the foods that you're eating, I mean, I could go through your diet and pick it apart and tell you, you know, uh, just about everything that you're putting in your body is causing inflammation, oxidation, and potentially predisposing you to having cancer, heart disease, <laughs> diabetes, arthritis, all of that. And so before we get to the next caller, I, I just want to mention, get a pen and paper. I'm going to say this very quickly. I'm going to give you a list of foods that are safe. They're my safe foods, okay? So when I started thinking about this, I started looking at diets, and I wanted a diet that number one was low in oxalates. And why did I want to diet low in oxalates? Because I had one kidney stone in my life. A lot of you that listen to this program know about that. That was about six months ago. That was the worst pain I ever had in my life. And it was actually related to an antibiotic I took for an infected mo uh, wisdom tooth. I won't take that antibiotic anymore. I actually take uh, Manuka honey now and colloidal silver and it worked the same anytime it got, gets a little inflamed. So oxalates are like little glass shards that are in food, basically. And it can cause kidney stones, but it can cause other issues that you don't want, health issues that people aren't even aware of these foods can cause. And so if you Google oxalates, high oxalate foods, uh, there's so many out there. I mean, it's crazy. Um, so I gave a list of foods that are not only oxalate low or almost free in oxalates, but they're FODMAP free too. Many fruits and vegetables are very high in, in a substance that causes fermentation and bloating in your gut. And people with IBS, it causes their stomach to be distended and have lots of pain. So I wanted a food that's oxalate-free, FODMAP-free, gluten-free, and then specific foods have to be organic as well. And so uh, I've got a list of these foods that are on the safe list. Here we go. Bell peppers. They got to be organic, though. Mustard greens, they don't have to be organic. Yellow squash, broccoli, cucumbers, organic kale, bok choy, cabbage, turnip root, not the turnip green, the turnip root, zucchini, organic lettuce, pineapple and banana. So put a little rum in the pineapple and banana and a little coconut. There's a song about that. Lay on the beach, get a little vitamin T, go on the salt water, and you're good to go. Lemons and limes. Organic blueberries, organic strawberries, organic grapes, and cantaloupe. You can have, uh, on proteins, you can have milk if it's goat's milk, and if it's A2 cow's milk, or if it's promised land milk, or preferably you find raw milk that hasn't been pasteurized that comes from a goat or an A2 cow. You can have wild Alaskan salmon, sardines, and you can have trout. Uh, you can have one type of salmon that's actually tank raised. Uh, it's a coho salmon that's tank raised and it says tank raised, not farm raised. It's farm tank raised. The rest of the fish you got to stay away from. You can only have organic turkey and organic chicken. You can have eggs. Eggs are very good. About the only carbohydrate you can eat is quinoa and you can have the quinoa. You can't eat rice, even if it's brown rice, you know, too high in arsenic. You can't have potatoes. You can't have pasta. You can't have uh, a lot of this stuff, not even sweet potatoes anymore. 
So, so many things are high in glyphosate, and I pick the foods also that don't have any glyphosate in them. So, it's going to be called the Lang, uh, I think it's going to be called the Lang, not starvation diet, uh, the Lang survival diet. All right, uh, we're going to go back to the phones in one second. Doc Hall is actually waiting patiently. Let me give you the phone number, one 877 now, what could be more important than to give the gift of health during this holiday season? So go to the Fortify website at fortify.com and, you know, pick out some of these nutrients, get your discount, and give your loved ones something that's going to be beneficial for their health. The omega-3, the advanced dry eye therapy, uh, the super protein or the grass-fed protein, or better yet, if you have a young individual or an old individual, and you want them to get in better shape or they need to get in better shape, our Fortify Fit. There isn't anything like it on the planet right now. It's a pre-workout, post-workout at any age. My 92-year-old mom's on it. My 13-year-old daughter's on it. You can take it once a day for anti-aging. One scoop, you take it, put it in water, shake it up. Or if you really want to get in shape fast, you take one scoop before you work out, one scoop after you work out, and you add our new grass-fed whey protein isolate after you work out. Learn more about it at fortify.com. Go to Fortify Fit. Come by the Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala. Doc Hall can give you the spiel and the exact science behind it. Um, also, you got to come by and see what Doc Hall has done uh, with the Lang Nutrition Center. That's in Ocala. I'm going to give you the phone number for Fortify Vitamins headquarters and for the Lang Nutrition Center. Get a pen. Write this down. 866 503 nine seven four six that's eight six six five zero three nine seven four six go to the website you can do a lot of research on the supplements i've developed at fortify.com that's f-o-r-t-i-f-e-y-e fortify.com uh read over it look at it remember god made a pretty good body if you give it the right fuel that's what i'm all about making supplements that do no harm and only benefit you all of the Fortify vitamins were made to work synergistically together. You have to be very careful. I've seen many doctors prescribing supplements for their patients, many naturopathic doctors, holistic doctors, uh, whatever, um, integrative doctors, and every, here's an example. Not, not too long ago, I had a patient come in. I looked at all the supplements. The patient was taking 100,000 units of vitamin D3 a day. The patient had bad atrial fibrillation, which is a direct correlation to too much vitamin D3. I mean, it was crazy. A doctor had him on a prescription fish oil, uh, a, a, I mean, a prescription uh, vitamin D that had 50,000 units in it. And then he was taking 10,000 units supplementally and all the other things added up to 100,000 units of D3 a day. And his doctor didn't even pick that up. So remember, more is not good. More is bad. All right, we're going to go to the phones. I think Doc Hall is waiting patiently. Doc Hall, good, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, my friend and colleague. How are you today? I am fabulous. It's going to be a beautiful day. I understand, uh, I understand we're going to go racing soon. Yes, we are. We're going to take the motor coach. <laughs> Scoobs is going to drive it, and you are welcome to come along. You will enjoy it. And, uh, you know, we'll have a barbecue. Any of our patients that come out will... Give them some free organic grass-fed uh, beef and uh, veggies. Well, what I'm going to do is, is I'm coming along for sure. You know that. I'm, I'm game for anything like that. But uh, I'm going to be part of the pit crew, and I'm going to be the guy that gives you the watch how water. And uh, but, but that's as far as it goes. I, I won't be driving. I won't be tagging along in the car because, you know, you hit those speeds about 200 miles an hour. And as we discussed, you know, one day when we were driving together and you said, Doctor, do you mind how I drive? And like that? I said, no, I felt very comfortable because you drive a car at 200 miles an hour an inch off of somebody's bumper and each side of you and at the tail of you. So I'm good with that. <laughs> you, you didn't get a little nervous when I was uh, sitting in the second row seat with my uh, feet up using the steering wheel, did you? <laughs> well, 
Well, that, that caused me a little concern, but what I did is I just put uh, my hands over my eyes and just prayed for the best. <laughs> you know, and it, and it worked out. It worked out, obviously. Um, I wanted to go back to one of the uh, callers earlier, a uh, lady called about the gold gym and about the uh, reflector uh, uh, lights and, and like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure what that is is the uh, the body, body composition uh, unit that they have there. And what that does is gives uh, the staff of Gold's Gym, and uh, again, I'm not speaking for Gold's Gym, but uh, I'm familiar with the, so many units out there that's being used. And I, what that does is that gives a baseline uh, for the staff there to uh, to put together a program uh, for the person and measure with body composition and like that. So mm-hmm. I just ask them uh, if the caller is still uh, listening in, which I know they are, and um, just to, uh, to ask them what the protocol is. What should I do? Close my eyes? Or is this safe? Is that, they're certainly not going to do anything that's unsafe for you. But so just ask. That's all. Right. And, uh, and they'll take care of you. I'm sure they will. And, uh, but uh, uh, I want to invite everybody uh, to uh, the, uh, our nutrition center. And uh, we've made some just tremendous things that are going on there. We've, we've uh, redecorated the whole place. And like you said, the elevator and uh, it looks like a whole new place. I'm proud of it. And uh, staff has, has done just tremendous there with me. And Danny's worked side by side with me to make all these things happen. And uh, and it's 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 really a great place to come to. We just put in probably one of the biggest, uh, largest uh, snack sections, uh, high protein, uh, just good for you snack sections in all of Central Florida. And uh, we're we're stepping away and 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 putting ourselves out there that uh, that we have one of the best out there. And we just put in, um, I think we're one of the first in this whole area that uh, you know, stopped the new outright bars, and uh, they are fantastic. Uh, don't think of the protein bars as days of old when uh, it tasted like a brick of sawdust. Uh, these mm-hmm. are fantastic. In fact, I I have to stay away from them. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm not eating lunch and eating an outright bar, which I guess that's okay once in a while. But uh, I'm a big guy and I have to eat. So, uh, but uh, I I encourage everybody to stop by and visit. I'm there every day, nine to five, uh, Monday through Friday. And as you said, uh, we're looking at opening up on uh, on Saturdays here after the first of the year, and uh, so it's becoming a real full. Um, uh, Nutrition center. Uh, it's not just uh, our product, which we're proud of those, and certainly, but we're giving folks a little bit extra there, and uh, that they can uh, uh, do something positive in their life, and that's that's what we want to do. Absolutely, and and we were talking about this the other night at dinner. Everybody should start their New Year's resolutions a little bit early, shouldn't they? Absolutely. That's uh, I, I get that asked all the time. I, I will say, Doctor Hall, when should I start my diet today? Um, you know, don't don't put it off till next week or two weeks or after the first of the year and like that, because what damage are you going to do between now and then? You know, um, just taper back a little bit. I like to see folks. I'm big in the holidays. I love the holidays. Um, but you know, enjoy and like that, but don't over enjoy. And, uh, but now's a good time to, to really take a look at it. And, you know, if you eat a little heavier uh, or you know you're going to have a bigger meal that night, um, you know, taper off a little bit in the morning. And uh, eat a little bit lighter that way. So it kind of balances out a little bit. And don't forget, folks, to hydrate. Um, you've got to drink that water and uh, the, through the holidays and like that. And please, just as, as a, a cautionary um, warning out there, please don't drink and drive. And please don't let anyone you know drink and drive. If you see somebody that's, that's had too much to drink or a little bit wobbly and like that, Please don't let them drive. Don't let them get on the road. And uh, that's, that's one of my biggest things over the over the holidays. You know, we we feel a little bit happier and and lighter and like that. And and sometimes you know a drink or two, uh, our people go overboard, and we don't want to see that. You know, we have loved ones out there on the road. We have just listeners and callers out there on the road, and and we have everybody out there. We want to keep everybody safe. So no drinking and driving. Uh, uh, there's Uber, there's Lyft, there's all these other uh, ways. There's a taxi cab that you can get home, you know, so right. play it safe, play it smart, do the right thing. Right. You bring up a valid point there. I mean, everybody can partake in the festivities, you know, I'm a libertarian at heart. And uh, I basically mean you can do whatever you want as long as it doesn't affect others. So if you're at a party and you're drinking and you know, you're intoxicated, take an Uber, have somebody bring you home. Don't get in that car. There's no excuses. You're well, absolutely correct. And all the young people listening, you know, I was there once before. You think you can handle it. Don't take the chance. You know, uh, 
uh, Doc Hall, you know what I want to do since I got you on the air, just for about five minutes here uh, before we go to the next caller, you helped me and you were instrumental when you came on the team uh, with the direction of our new sports nutrition line, uh, the Fortify Performance Nutrition line. And you're going to be at the Fit Expo in Los Angeles with me. And really what we're releasing there is our Fortify Fit, which is pre-workout, post-workout. And now you've had a lot of people that have been using it. We've getting some feedback. You yourself has used it. I've used it. You know, just expand, you know, in about a minute or two, a little bit about this new sports nutrition supplement, unlike anything on the planet right now, because it's the first that is utilizing astaxanthin combined with these other nutrients and a pre- and post-workout supplement. Well, I'm, uh, first of all, I'm very proud to be part of the team and, and have been part of the uh, uh, bringing this this um, uh, new product to uh, to life. Uh, as you know, we we struggled with it not for any other reason than we wanted it to be the perfect perfect supplement. Um, there's not a pre and post workout out there on the market that you can do, and and it comes out of one one canister. That's it. Uh, you have to buy. You know, if you go to buy these things, you'd have to line up 20 different things uh, on the counter. No one wants to do that, and it's it's really it's cost uh, prohibitive. Uh, what you and I did, we sat down and we said, what are the the uh, different ingredients? Um, suppl- for supplements that really do some good, you know, without all the caffeine, the stimulation, the mm-hmm. roller coaster rides that it puts you on. I don't like that stuff, Dr. Lang. I, I just don't like it at all. It's, it's bad on the heart. It's bad on the nervous, nervous system. And really it contributes nothing to your workout. And people just don't realize that. Uh, when it says on a, on a, uh, on a label that this is, uh, great for your workout focus. What does that mean? Well, what that's telling me is it's just loaded with caffeine and all kinds of other um, uh, substances in there that's uh, just going to elevate everything. If you're blood pressure sensitive and like that, there goes your blood pressure through the roof. And we don't want to do that. We want to go the opposite way. And uh, so we put this together. Uh, as you know, we, we struggled with the taste on it because we wanted the taste to be just perfect. And we could have thrown sucralose in there and aspartame and all kinds of nasty stuff in there, really. But we refused to do that. And we came down to the final line that everybody likes it. Now we have two flavors. And uh, everybody likes either flavor. And uh, and it's working. That's it. I'm getting calls every day from people. And these are unsolicited calls. People just call me up and say, Dr. Hall, love the fit. It's fantastic. Their their uh, 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 body strength has gone up ten, twenty, thirty percent. I know you you uh, yourself. We measure your strength, and it's gone up. I think thirty five percent now. Yep. And uh, and mine the same way. My recovery afterwards. As you know, I'm I'm what's known as a as a recovery specialist for for uh, athletes and for post workout. This is the best thing I've ever seen out there, and I use it daily. You use it daily, as we always say. You know, we talk the talk, and Lord knows I can talk. But um, uh, we walk the walk, too. And uh, you mentioned mom, your mom, and, and actually taking trip and, uh, and Mackenzie as well. And uh, as I said, you know, we were working out in, in your gym one time, and in walks mom, and she's 92 years old. She's the same age as my mom. And she walked in with her uh, her shaker of, of fit, and she was drinking it as her pre-workout, and she did her workout, and she says, Michael, where's my uh, where's my fit? I got to I gotta do the, my recovery. And she looked at me and winked, but she knew. And uh, uh, and, it, and it was great. And, I mean, and it's, and it's good for everyone. I mean, it's the, the ingredients in there are just great. I mean, we have a little bit of creatine in there uh, for the muscles uh, and for recovery. Uh, as you said um, uh, before, uh, we have uh, branched-chain aminos in there. We have collagen protein in there. We have just everything that is in there can be documented on research papers that they contribute to recovery. They contribute to the body. They don't take away from the body. They're, they're not stimulating the body just for the sake of stimulation. So you feel better for a few minutes and then that goes away. No, this is a, a, a product that's going to make you feel better for life. Right. And right. Uh, so, you know, and, and we were totally stocked up in, in all of our warehouses and certainly in the, the nutrition center and in, in the Ocala and you can stop by from nine to five i'm there every day you can stop in um you know what uh, what we were talking or what you were talking about earlier about the the one patient with uh, taking a uh, hundred thousand units of uh, vitamin d right if if any of our listeners what just you know put put all your vitamins all your supplements in a box in a bag bring them to me 
and let me go over them with you and and do that same thing and say, look, you're taking too much of this. Let's put this aside and like that. I don't like to throw away anything, but uh, but we'll work it into your program so you're not overtaking too. Fantastic, Doc. I appreciate the call. I appreciate the input. Soon you're going to have to be a live guest so you can be seen on all the social media that we're on right now and be a live guest in the very near future. And I appreciate the call, Doc. We will be talking probably later on today. Yes, we will, as always. Take care, my friend. And thank you to all the listeners for your kind comments uh, about me and about the Nutrition Center and like that. And uh, anything I can do for you, my phone call away. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. All right. That was Doc Hall. He's an icon in the sports nutrition industry. He is a bodybuilder and a power lifter himself, and he does uh, practice what he preaches. So, and I try to be right there as well. All right. You've been listening to Ask the Doctor. I don't think we have enough time for another call unless you called in really quickly. Uh, But once again, I just want to recap a little bit what we talked about earlier today. We talked about dry eye, how you can help dry eye through proper nutrition. All right, you got to clean your lids. You got to heat the lids. Take a good lubricating drop like Oasis Tears Plus, Blink Tears, or Fresh Coat. Uh, but most importantly, a formula that I created called Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy. It works. It's a combination of omega 3, lutein, zeaxanthin, astaxanthin, which is Fortify Focus, and our black currant seed oil with GLA. Three bottles in one little box discounted to $62. When you get it online, you can get another 15% off. You'll see the live streaming discount video uh, up on the top on a video, and it gives you free shipping. Uh, I think you have to put a special code in for that. So Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy is not only good for your dry eye, it's good for your retina, it's good for your brain, it's good for your joints, it's good for your skin. Uh, people with psoriasis have been improving. Even psoriatic arthritis have been improving. I have patients with chronic uveitis and iritis. That's an inflammatory condition in their eye. Uh, I get them off of their steroid drops that are on long-term chronic steroid because this is actually lowering inflammatory markers in the body. It works. Then the Fortify Fit we expanded a little bit on. Uh, Fortify Fit is, uh, a lot of you saw me holding this up when Doc Hall was talking. Uh, Fortify Fit comes in a jug. It's made for pre-workout and post-workout. It does work. It helps give you clean energy during the workout, no hyped uh, stimulants at all. So you can take it if you're 95. You can take it if you're 13. So if you want to get back in shape for the new season, for the new year, you know, this will help jumpstart your uh, New Year's resolutions. If you're overweight, this will help metabolize the fat, but it'll help turn the fat into muscle, which is important, and give you the energy necessary to go to the gym, necessary to go out on the tennis court, the pickleball court, the golf course, take a bike ride. So uh, remember, I always preach this. God made a pretty good body if you give it the right fuel, and this is it, Fortify Fit. I worked on this for two years. Not to brag, but there is nothing like it in the sports nutrition industry. You can't buy it anywhere right now except at fortify.com. You can call toll-free Monday through Friday. That number is 866 503-9746. One more time, 866-503-9746 or go to fortify.com, F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E.com. With any product that I've developed on the Fortify line, remember I developed it to help you, sincerely, legitimately try to help you. If you have any negative effects or you don't like it, it caused an issue with you, we're going to give you a full refund and you can keep it, all right? Uh, because I sincerely want to help you. I want a supplement that's going to help slow down the aging. I'm 58. I can mountain bike with the best. I can hit the gym with the best. I can race cars with the best. And the youngest at 58. So we got 44 seconds before we go off the air. So what could I do in 43 seconds? I could do, hmm, I don't know. I can talk a long time. So once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, I'm here for two hours every Saturday from 9 to 11. You can learn more at langeyecare.com or drmichaellang.com or the new site, drmichaellangracing.com. I'm out of here. Have a great day and God bless you. 